My name is Dan Belsky, uh, and I come from Duke University in the School of Medicine and the Social Science Research Institute. We can't give a child a genetic test to predict their future, but genes can teach us something about positive development. We studied 1,000 children from birth to midlife to try and understand how genetic discoveries that had been made uh, for educational attainment shaped uh, the lives these children led. Uh, and the original studies included tens of thousands of adults, and they tried to find genetic variants that were more common in people who had completed more years of schooling. We wanted to know uh, how those differences in life course outcomes came about. Uh, and the first question we asked was, was not at the beginning, but closer to the end. Did these children, beyond the completion of formal schooling, uh, go on to achieve more success uh, broadly in their lives? Uh, and the answer was yes. They had better jobs, made more money, had better credit scores. Uh, and these things were true uh, even when we compared kids who had the same level of education. That raised the question of how do these differences in life outcomes come about? What is the developmental process? Uh, and what we found was this developmental process begins to unfold from very early in life. Children who carried more of the education-associated genetic variants started to talk younger. Uh, and they started to use sentences earlier in life as well. Uh, they weren't progressing more rapidly across all developmental outcomes. They didn't walk any sooner. They didn't potty train any sooner. Um, but they did start using language earlier. And that was followed by a more rapid acquisition uh, of reading skills. In parallel uh, to these skill acquisitions, these kids also showed growth in psychological characteristics that we associate with positive development. Uh, so their uh, intellectual ability uh, developed more rapidly, their ability to delay gratification, what we call self-control, uh, was more robust, uh, and they were more interpersonally skillful. They were easier to get along with um, as young children. In turn, these early developmental differences played out to change the course of children's lives. So these kids tended to be what we call upwardly socially mobile. Uh, they tended to do better in life than their parents had. Uh, and this was true for kids who were born into socially advantaged circumstances, wealthy families, and for kids who were born into poor families. So, so across the economic spectrum, carrying more of these education variants uh, promoted positive development in a way that moved kids up the economic ladder. Uh, and for us, what's exciting about that is these pathways then suggest targets for interventions we can deliver uh, to promote positive development for all children. 